All right, guys, hey, just wanted to do a quick little video so you guys could see what I'm talking about. These are the relays on that TK60HP that we're having problems with or had a problem with and changed out. Anyway, this is the one I replaced. This is a, a small, single automotive type relay. Um, everyone's familiar with it. Anyway, it had signs of water in it. Um, I can pop it open and show you. I'll send it back. But there was definitely water in it because it was mounted in an odd position. Anyway, it's been rumored that it's uh, underrated. Like so. Anyway, I spec'd out this relay. I really like it. It's a much better relay. It's a Bosch relay. It's a it's a dual dual circuit relay. You can see that right there. So um, heavier relay, 75 amps. Um, and it don't, it's got two phases for kicking out. So I'll send you the deck tech data sheet on it. But uh, this is what I bought. Um, the part number on these things are 0332 If anybody uh, needs to replace one down the road, they're not that easy to, well, they're, they're not uncommon, but I had a few days delay in getting them because I had to order them. Automotive shops don't generally carry them. All right, get going on this here. All right, whoever put this all together is a complete hack. I had to cut this out. There was a butt connector there. It was crimped so hard, it was actually damaged the wire. So it was a causing problems. But this is a big problem here too. Whoever put this bigger wire in did such a crappy job. If you can actually see here, it's actually on there, just barely on there. So I'm sure that was causing some intermittent problems. Let's see if I get a better angle on that. It's barely on. Just junk for that. junk anyway i gotta cut it out i got uh i got the new relay let me check the other wires too but that's probably a major contributor all right here's one of the repairs afterwards i crimped it with the proper eye terminal you can see i also soldered it in afterwards but i crimped it with the proper tool not to damage the wire all right i got everything fixed crimped I soldered it after the crimps, you can see it on that one. And then I went ahead and left the original Deutsch ones on there, but I did add some solder to their crimp and I'm gonna put some shrink tape around them. All right, this is interesting. After I took that butt connector out and cut some more tape away, that butt connector was actually holding the heavy gauge wire to a small gauge wire that goes into the relay. So basically somebody did the repair put a large wire in there and then put a stupid little lead like this in to go into the relay so I'm gonna cut that out <laughs> probably solder some more wire in there and correct that and the ground should be okay Jesus there it is finished zip tied right side up so it doesn't fill up with water you can see the ring connectors and soldered the back on offs are a little close but I taught I crimped them and soldered them 